See, the problem with beliefs is that we look at them wrong. We look at them so incorrectly because most of the time when we come to believe something, let's say if we believe that our life sucks, right? Let's say we believe our life sucks and we believe that we get to that point because we look around and our life sucks, right? Either we don't have any money, we don't have a job, or people don't love us, or nobody respects us, or the way my life should have been is sure as hell not what's in front of me, right? But the problem with that is it's backwards because you don't come to that belief looking at what's around you. You actually come to that. Your, your life happens that way because it first of all started with a belief that my life sucks or that somehow I'm going to fail at everything I do. Because those beliefs started when we were young, usually. And what ends up happening is the funny thing about a belief is you think that it's fact, right? You look in your life and you say, well, well, Michael, I mean, look at this. I, 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 I drive this piece of crap car, right? My life sucks. Well, the problem is, is that at one point in your life, something was deposited inside your head that took over as a belief. And what that is, was a simple, single thought. Now, usually it happens, like I say, with when we're children or something like that, where somebody says something to us that, you know, you suck, Michael, you suck. Or else it's kind of comes in sideways and see, Michael, you screwed up on this. You never seem to get anything right, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And suddenly that thought that I suck, after being repeated a few times, maybe from somebody outside, maybe a parent or a, or a brother or sister or something like that, suddenly that thought begins repeating inside of our head. Instead of coming in one ear and going out the other, as all thoughts do, it kind of gets stuck in there. And this is my second definition of what a belief is. A belief is just a thought stuck on repeat. That's all it is. It's not fact. It's not reality of what's out in your life. When you finally come to understand this, life gets a lot better because you understand that it was just a thought. One time thought through your head or put into your head that now has become stuck on repeat. No one loves me. I, I, I can't get what I want, right? Money just slips through my fingers. It wasn't a fact beforehand. It was just a thought that became stuck on repeat. Now, why is this really incredibly important? Because any thought that you have can be changed. You can choose a different thought. Now, it may seem like it's impossible, right? Because you look at the proof outside of it in your life. But when you understand things like the law of attraction, which is what you focus on, is what really shows up in your life. When you understand that beliefs are the true things that create the reality around you, because those are the thoughts constantly going off in your head. When you realize all those things, you realize how powerful you are because you get to choose the thought that you think and the one that gets repeated often and often and often. Because when you begin, let's say, if you start with a, a thought of, I suck, a belief that I suck, when you begin to change that one into its opposite, which is, I'm amazing, and you begin to see that happen in your life, when you begin to realize that, oh my God, I actually am. When you begin to see that there are so many examples in your life, for instance, that you are amazing, or that you are loved, or that you're pretty powerful, or creative, or whatever it happens to be, when you start repeating those in your life, then they start becoming the new belief. And you start seeing those more and more often. Those particular things. I am amazing. I, oh my God, I succeeded here. This person really respects me. You begin focusing on those and suddenly the other beliefs start falling away. You start being able to recognize them when they come up. 
all it does is it starts with a simple, single thought. I am amazing. Or whatever it is that you want to change. Because all of those beliefs that we have in our lives, there's, there's a lot of beliefs. And like I said in uh, last week's episode, the beliefs are just creation machines. Right? It's like you've got an army inside of you of beliefs. You have all of your beliefs inside of you that are constantly triggering and repeating thoughts, right? Each one of them. But when you begin to choose the thoughts and therefore the beliefs that you hold, your life changes because that what is what gets created around you. A belief is not fact. A belief is simply the result of a thought or the, 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 what gets created is the result of a thought that you keep repeating. It's not fact. None of this is fact. The fact that I sucked? No, it's not a fact. It's a belief. First of all, you have to realize it's not a fact. It's a belief. And then from there you realize, oh, a belief is not there forever. It's just simply a thought. One single thought. Then maybe when you were young, some parent told you once, and you kept inside of yourself repeating it. Maybe they told it to you many, many times, unfortunately, and I'm sorry for that. We've all gone through stuff like that. Maybe it was a traumatic event where something happened and you made a mistake, and the consequences of it was really bad. And so therefore, you try to protect yourself, believing that you can't do this particular thing, or that you can't do anything. All that it started off with was a thought. One simple, single thought. And when you realize that that's all they are at their core, that thought, then you can begin to choose a different one. And you can choose to stop repeating the same one. You can use anger to stop it. I use, actually I use anger a lot of the times too, because I sit there and I go, you know what? I don't deserve that anymore. That is bullshit. That belief, that thought, is utter bullshit. Because I can see these other examples in my life. And then you begin focusing on those. And you can use, like I use, I use meditation to get down in there and change them at a root level to kind of like pull those other thoughts out of there, let those go, and begin focusing on the ones that I do. And it's just that simple. And it's that hard. Yeah, it's hard because sometimes those beliefs, those thoughts that are stuck on repeat, have become so much of a habit that it's hard rooting them up. But it's possible. Not only possible, it's doable completely. And you can do it. But you have to realize, first of all, that what you think is something that you can't get rid of. A belief that hurts you that life is bad, that is simply a thought stuck on repeat. Begin with that and understand that. Look in your life this week. Look in your life this week at some of those thoughts that you keep repeating to yourself. Some of those thoughts that you use as judgment against other people or against yourself. Those aren't judgments. Those are beliefs. When you start repeating them, they are beliefs that you hold about others or about yourself. Change them. It's a thought. It's only one simple thought. Change it. Let it go. Banish it. Get angry. Kick it out. And then begin the process of focusing on the ones that you do want. Those ones that make you feel great inside. The ones that make you feel fantastic. The, one that makes, the ones that make you feel at peace. Focus on those. Focus on those and repeat those until they become a belief. And that belief then looks like it's fact inside your life, that you are in fact amazing, that you are lovable, that you can have anything in your want in your life, that you can create it all because you are amazing. Try that this week. Love you.